We return to Martinius. Last name, sniffing out eeks of Daedric knowledge of Homer's moron. That's how he sounds. Hello, um, this is how people read books. I don't know what you're talking about. Today, I have prepared ahead of time. I have taken on many pages of the uh, Hermaeus Mora books that we have found on people. The, the In their throes of death, a, a page of knowledge has spawned from... There he is, big man Hermaeus Mora himself. Um, I did want to actually craft them in the video because I thought that'd be kind of nice. I uh, sat at the desk and the camera bugged out again. So I thought, you know what? Let's just, let's just prepare them in advance. So we now have Eldritch Tome, Skeens of Life. Restoration spells and scrolls are 20% stronger. Very powerful for Martinius. And the Earthshaker. We are immune to stagger and take 40% less attack damage while casting a two-handed spell or scroll. Very nice. I don't know if that means you're immune to stagger while casting a two-handed spell or scroll. I assume it is. Um, Because, like, a permanent immunity to stagger would be, like, fucking insane. Uh, what I've also done is I've crafted all the replicas we could craft. I was thinking, right? I put back on our heavy armor because we're done with two. We're done with our uh, one. Wait, uh, heavy armor training. We've still got to keep going with uh, one-handed training for a little while, and you know we, we've still got a little while to do that before we're ready to join the Dark Brotherhood properly and start with that stuff. So I thought we might as well put our heavy armor back on for the survivability. But I do kind of like the jagged crown. Now, rather than sticking that in the uh, the gallery, we could always make another one. We could always just straight up wear the jagged crown. I mean, it looks ridiculous, but it does match our armor set, right? And it looks kind of cool. Well, unfortunately, we can't enchant or... We can't enchant, nor can we upgrade. What the fuck? <laughs> we can't enchant, nor can we upgrade the uh, the dragon... Uh, sorry, the, the, the jagged crown. So we'll go back to our regular dragon plate helmet. Bit of a shame. It does look ridiculous. I kind of liked it. Um, but you know what? That's okay. We'll go for the full set of gear. You do get bonuses when you have a full set of the same the same armor after all. So we'll go ahead and drop that back in there. So I don't exactly know what I'm looking for. Uh, I think the comment has said it's a, uh, a companion. Sorry, I've got really bad hiccups already. Two seconds into the video. My lungs are also, like, really, really bad today. I went out two days ago with my parents while they were visiting. Uh, I'm not saying I've caught coronavirus in the one day I've left the house in the past two years. But holy shit, I'm, like, genuinely kind of short of breath today. No idea. What, maybe it's because I left the house for the first time in two years. Apparently, look, I'm, like, it's not, it's not scientific, okay? Uh, far from it. But there was this stupid Twitter quiz that I sent to some people on Discord. And it was like, uh, I'm sure some of you might have seen it. It was like, uh, hold your breath and see how powerful your lungs are. And if you held it for like, genuinely like five seconds, it was like, wow, you've got super powerful lungs. I was like, oh, this is a fucking stupid. Uh, I was like, oh, this is a stupid, you know, clickbait thing where they'll say, you know, the cl the classic one is, you know, six times uh, six plus two times six. What is the correct answer? And everybody forgets primary school level maths and doesn't do uh, what we would call in the UK Bodmus. Um, Pemdus, Pedmus. Uh, I don't know what you call that in America. The uh, who? Nanny number you. Wang. Sir, will you fuck Damn. off with that? Take your big axe and get out of here. We literally just ate a dragon. And this guy's going for us. What a fool. <laughs> it never gets old, does it? Well, I mean, neither does he. So anyway, there was one of those stupid quizzes, and I was like, this is obviously clickbait or whatever, because, you know, they they probably just made it super, super easy so that people can, people can do it and feel good about themselves and be like, oh, yeah, I got super lungs. And I was like, okay, I'll do this. And it, it it's like, it's not seconds. It's like, um... Is this ball will spin and then you have to hold your breath during that and I did it and I did it for longer than the video went on for the video in total goes on for like 1 minute 34 and holding your breath for a minute 34 didn't seem particularly unusual to me 
And then I sent it to a lot of people and they're like, yeah, I did it until the fourth spin of the ball and it spins 10 times. I'm like, what the fuck? So maybe I, all these years I've been saying like, oh, I got really bad lungs. You know, my lungs are like shit capacity. Turns out, turns out it was my superpower all along. I was genuinely thinking maybe it is. Is this a place? Probably. Maybe it's down to the fact that I've been doing this YouTube stuff, you know? To talk consistently for 14 hours a day. I suppose you probably would get a little bit of breath control out of that. Oh. Hello? Skell the Grey. Uh, I was just about to cave your head in, my friend, so it's a lucky day to be Who you. Who is it? What business does it have here? Does it know me by name? Hi. I only know it by heart. Skell the Grey, they call me, but you like skeleton, can call me Horus. I assume. Horus. As for you, you are the one they call Pessiel the Pink. I'll be honest, I already I hate him. No, that is my business. I already hate him. Hold up, Spork. I am to Skell the Grey. Fine, pleased to meet you, Skell. I told you to call me Horus. Can't people follow simple directions before running off in all of them? I already kind of hate him. Follow me, I need your help. Right away, no lonely gagging. Oh, he's like a companion. We can have a skeletal companion. They okay. The college has been sniffing around Sarthor. Mages with straws and powder filled herbs. No good can come of that. I mean, that's kind of cool that we've got a skeleton companion. I'll be honest, though. I don't like the whole... It's uh, look, I know it's sinful to say in the Elder Scrolls world because he's such a fan favorite. What the hell is wrong with your boots? Uh, really do not like the whole... Meat stranglers or something. In the old fort See, near Riften, this. I, consider joining up myself. I get that he's doing all the... All the, the NPC dialogues. But with words replaced with other words to sound vaguely funny even. I really don't like the... Yeah, that's a good sign. Fucking hell. Uh, I really don't like the lol so random humor. Get out of the fucking... Ah! Oh. <laughs> You're already testing my patience, Skrell. I just don't like that type of humor. That's why I don't like Shagorath. Daedric Man says cheese.exe. Fan base. Shits and pisses and cums. Right, where are we going then? <laughs> uh, thank you, skeleton friend. I suppose we'll take him along. I don't mind if he's going to, I suppose, mock the dialogue of Bethesda because Bethesda's dialogue, fuck, that needs mocking. You're all right. Well, I'm, I'm obviously no writer. I won't claim to be a writer, uh, unlike all the other untalented people on uh, the internet. Let's head up to the Pale Imperial Camp. One day I will be published. That day is never going to happen, but, you know, one day if I keep believing. If I, if I put it in my Twitter bio, eventually I'll believe it as maybe the publishers will too. Where are we going? Who are we speaking to? Legat Ricker. Then you thought I had like a bandana on that dragon then. Hello, Legat Ricker. Something to report? Uh, <coughs> I've got something to report, all right. It's a report for duty. I need you to deliver some false orders to the Stormcloak commander in Dawnstar. Oh. But first, we need to get our hands You should leave him on the body of, uh, make the of a dead homeless the man and just roll him into the Stormcloak camp dressed in Imperial runners. armor. See if you can't convince one of the innkeepers. I heard that works wonders. One way or another, get me those documents. Right, easy. But don't do anything rash if you go to Windhelm. Well, soldier, can you do this? Well, soldier, can you do this? Uh, I'm not sure. I need to consider it. A false front. This is my friend. Well, let's not call him that. This is Skell. I can believe it more with Skell. Because he's like a skeleton man and his brain's probably addled to the point where he thinks stuff like that is funny. You know? <laughs> I'm sorry. If you enjoy... Look, don't let someone on the internet tell you what to enjoy. That's the, that's the first rule of the internet. Okay? If you like that type of thing, if you like Shea Gorath and... Humor where words is changing other word. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Just not for me personally. And my my kind of big problem with it is it's very overused, isn't it? In uh, it's very overused in Skyrim for sure. So we're gonna go see one of the innkeepers. What the fuck are they off to in a hurry? Good Lord, it's gonna have a peek. I've never liked Windhelm. Come on in. It seems like one of the worst places to live. 
I told you, my friend. I'm not going on another wild goat chase. And I'm telling you, Captain. Who is? What is it now? Who is speaking? Oh God! Everyone is talking. Okay, madam. I need to, excuse me, I need to speak to the, the, the bar lady, but I can't get through. Valor's in the way there. Ah, oh, there we go, there we go. That's it, lean. This here's Candleheart Hall. Great rooms upstairs, uh -huh. and there's a bed for rent on the ground floor. Have you seen these Stormcloak couriers lately? I tend to keep my patrons' privacy. What about for this big bag of gold? Seems your purse is lighter than you thought. Ah, oh, shit, I put all the gold in the gallery. Seen any stone cloak couriers lately? I tend to keep my uh, my, his life is in danger. It is. Well, that's different. Seventy-five speech coming in handy. He was here, but he left. If you leave now, you can probably catch him. He was here, but he left. Just wait here. He'll be back soon enough. All right then. Enjoy what a pathetic set of directions. He was here, but he left. Madam, that can literally apply to everybody that's ever come in the fucking front door. I mean, besides her. Well, I guess the other patrons, that's not the point. What a useless thing to say. Come along, horses. Skell. All day long. Do you have any idea how dull horses are? What is she talking about? Right, so the courier is over in that direction. We'll chase him. Oh, we'll get him, don't you worry. Ooh, parkour. Okay. Ron Martinius. Oh, wait. He's not wearing his speedy boots now because we're wearing heavy armor, not light armor. I mean, to be fair, we are still moving with some, you know, with some haste. We could transform into a werewolf uh, and sprint with the power of a, a stinky wolf. Problem with that, of course, is it probably would, I mean, probably upset a lot of people. We could do it, though. Oh, shit. Why not? We've still got to finish off our beast form things, haven't we? So if we kill two birds with one stone here. Oh, I forgot we became a weird bear. Oh, that's so cool. They'll just think it's a grizzly. They'll just think it's a grizzly bear running around. Where the fuck is he? It would be faster to fast travel. Well, I guess I won't know now because I've just transformed into a freaking bear. Bears famously cannot read maps. What the fuck is going on here? Hello? I fought worse than you. Uh, bandits? Do you, do you see that fucking body going through the air? Oh my god, these mages. Okay, there's a storm astronaut there. Well, I guess we'll try and kill. Uh, what the fuck are you? You are like an insanely powerful mage. Wow, she's frozen Martinius in time. <laughs> that was mad. Holy crap. Ha, ah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. He's there. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Took his head clean off. Wow, hey, what the fuck? And now we eat. That was insane. Okay then. Uh so we gotta put false orders. Oh, we've got to transform. That's a shame. Okay, transform back. And then we Oh, stone cloak documents, there they are. We just couldn't see them in wolf form. And then we've gotta put did it say false documents? I could have sworn she said that. Uh Doc. I swear she said put some false documents on her, on the body, right? No? Well, okay then. But we've got to take him back to like at Ricker first, and then what the hell's going on with that? You see that? It's like floating. Temple of Stendars in the fucking sky. Uh, maybe we could take him back to Ricker first, and then we bring back some false documents based on what they find out. Sure, okay. Ooh, woo. Wow, that bear form was was cool, eh? We might try and do that more often. Holy crap, Ricker! Very good. Let's see what you have here. Interesting. They know more of our plans than you I. You got expected. a man on the inside. It would seem Fort Dunstad is in need of reinforcements. We'll make sure they won't be getting those. One moment while I correct. Yeah, there you go. Documents. I thought I thought she would. Uh, should do it, it would be a bit weird if she came up with a bunch make of fake sure documents when she didn't know the subject. You know. The storm cloak commander in Dawnstar. It'll throw him off our trail, allowing us to maneuver more freely. Wow, cloak and dagger, a little bit of espionage. All right then. <laughs> Remind me. Uh, what am I I'll supposed to do? Leave, then. I wasn't listening. She does kind of, just kind of go on for a bit. Pillar of lightning shield. We should see if there's a pillar of soul tear. So these pillars allow you to, uh, like, upgrade or alter a shout, depending on 
whether or not you've got it fully unlocked. We should see if there's one for Soltair. That would be awesome. Soltair is already insanely powerful. If we can upgrade it with something else, that'd be awesome. Hello, Skell. Right, who am I looking for? Uh, Stormcloak Commander. Upstairs? You hear the news? Those damn mages blew up Winterhold. Guess destruction magic wasn't fine after all. Brilliant. Uh, Skell. No, Frogmar. Fight or die well. I have important documents for you, sir. Is that so? I don't recognize you. Why aren't you wearing your Stormcloak? Didn't want to be apprehended on the way down here. Yeah, easier to sneak past the enemy. I suppose it would be. Good thinking. All right. Let's take a look. Ah, good. Looks like the reinforcements for the fort are on the way. And we have some information about enemy troop movements as well. Excellent. It's not easy running messages, what with Imperial scouts easy. crawling Easy. Literally that place. easy. Well done. Why don't you grab yourself a drink at the Wind Peak before heading back? Ah, thank you, my friend. Until next time. Five septims. Wowee. That'll buy me nothing. Could see a nan and then she's like, here, buy yourself some sweets. It's like 15 pence. Nan, I can't even get a Freddo for that these days. Inflation. They're like £4.50 each. Well, nice work. That was... I mean, espionage in the most unespionage way possible. I.e. running at them in the form of a giant bear and snapping the neck with our body weight. Ricker. Good job. I knew I gave I don't need paying for this. Person. Oh, watch out for the lanterns, Ricka. A reporting for you for Your duty. Objective is Fort Dunstad. Fort Dunstad. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack. Then join them in wiping out the rebels. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. Am I allowed to do it well, as a werewolf? Soldier, are you up to the task? I mean, I, we're, I'm, we're all right training one-handed for a while, right? I knew I could count on you, soldier. We need to we need to finish that off. And when we finished off one-handed, then we do a bit of werewolf training. We do need to do vampire lord as well. I was kind of hoping we could do Dark Brotherhood slash Thieves Guild as a vampire. But that'd be kind of fun. Right, Fort Dunstad. Madam, I, I'm not sure I know where that is. Here we go. I could just travel right there. I could just not meet the men and wipe it out myself, like it, Ricker. Well, let's go and have a look then, shall we? Uh, here we are. Rayloff from Riverwood. Oh, we going in? That's it. I just had to. Can't literally walk up to the front fucking door. <laughs> okay then. Stormcloaks. Hello. Ah! Bonk. Hey. Well, that was easy. Uh, oh no, I wanted to do. Well, I wanted to do this screamy soul chat tear shout, but I guess we can be a bear man. I forgot I'd put that as our power. Never mind. Well, we've got our mace equipped now, so now it counts as one handed experience rather than, I guess, nothing if you have. Spells equipped as a bear. Put a lantern on as well so we can see what we're actually killing. Yes. I wonder if we can get a reskin. Turn him into uh Oh no, the Imperials want to kill us too. Kinda hard to tell. Uh I guess we can just ignore them and kill the stone cloaks. Bonk. I do I'd love to eat all these bodies too, because there's so many bodies going around at this point. Ooh. Yes! Die! That running attack with the werewolf form is so cool. There's so much damage. Right. Chew. Eat them all. Yes! We might as well get the experience that we can, right? Because Oh, the bodies disappear. I forgot that they did that. Okay, so we need to kill, then eat. Kill, then eat. Bonk. And then eat. They are attacking us because we are a werewolf, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. They're not going to harm us too much. Just some... Ow. Uh, well, actually, I don't know about that. They're actually doing quite a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe next time we won't turn into a bear. It was worth a go, but the fact that we can't eat the bodies does kind of defeat the point, eh? If I transform back now, are we good? Or are they going to be pissed at me still? Let's try it. Okay, go. Go. Transform. Transform. There we go. Okay. Are they still aggroed? Are we friends now? Oh, they're still pissed. Oh, come on. Right, what if we go indoors and then leave again? Oh, is this a reload time? Otherwise, that's going to be real... A oh, real pain in the ass. Okay. There are apparently storm clothes in here. 
I assume they're supposed to go out the doors into the main battlefield, though, aren't they? Okay. Let's go and take a peek. Hopefully, they're not aggro anymore. Otherwise, that's going to make things, like, really difficult. We'll just have to kill everybody. Uh, Well, you are a storm cloak, pal. Oh, we still got our bear powers. It's still active. Well, I'm going to just swing for everybody. I literally cannot tell the difference anymore because of this stupid ability. Oh, Jesus. This is fucking horrible, isn't it? Bonk. Okay. We good? There's apparently one more over here. Hey, there's an Eldritch page as well. Ah, oh, and the Imperials aren't hostile anymore. Shit, there's still loads. Nice. Ah, oh, I need to make sure I check the bodies. I thought where they despawned, they probably wouldn't get the, the Eldritch pages, but... I mean, why not, eh? Okay, are we done? We, we are technically done. What's going on here? Horse is freaking out. Oh, no, that was an Imperial. Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Report to General Tullys. I'm getting... I'm getting court-martialed again, aren't I? I'm sorry. It's so difficult to tell them apart. They all glow bright fucking pink. What's supposed to do with that? Okay. I think we're genuinely legitimately done, aren't we? Now, these guys could apparently send someone, like, over here. Uh... I think we're good. I think you guys are just overreacting. Well, another <clears throat> successful fort capture. Uh, we once again killed someone we weren't supposed to. And the beast form was really, uh, that was really special. Shit. General Tullius. Oh, on the drink again. Taking the pale gives us another port in Dawnstar and puts us within striking distance of Windhelm. We've done it. That should make Ulfric a bit more cautious, huh? We've done it, General Tullius. Battles are won by trained and disciplined men. Wars are won by talented and exceptional individuals. I'm raising you to Prefect. Prefect? Take this blade as a gift oh. and symbol of your new rank. Wow. Thank you, Tullius. Dwarven sword. You literally gave me a Daedric sword of Inferno. You give me a worse sword. Maybe it's to keep me, uh, keep me, keep me tested. Can be challenged. One of my new orders, sir. Make your way to our camp in the rift. We have a few surprises for the Stormcloaks lined up. Well, here we are. The Rift Imperial Camp. Ah. Uh, it's kind of pathetic. Oh, God. The war in Skyrim is so pathetic, isn't it? They've literally got more wounded women in their camp than they have soldiers. Unbelievable. Like it, Ricker. Something to report? Ah, uh, reporting for duty. You're going to Riften. My spies report the Jarl Steward Anuriel has arrangements with the Thieves Guild. Oh, oh she does. Oh, <laughs> no idea. Public. I need you to find evidence of her corrupt activities and use it oh, to gain a no. measure of her cooperation. Oh, this is going. This, this is such a conflict of interests. And discretion. The Jarl's guards won't take kindly to anyone rummaging through her steward's and discretion. Got it. Uh, I will get proof. Good. I can always count on you, can't I? Yes, you can, Legget like Ricker. Yes, you can. Well, this sounds like um something that's fairly uh, fine evidence. Uh, I'm in the Thieves Guild. Here's my evidence. Gestures to self. Level 55. Shit, we're almost level 56 as well. Oh, God, these hiccups. Please save me. Skell? Maybe you should wait outside. I feel like these guys wouldn't take too kindly to a giant Skellington man walking in. Maybe maybe he's not real. Maybe I'm just imagining the whole thing. Hello. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla's steward, Anuriel. Are you now? The guards won't take too kindly to someone wandering in. Well, welcome, welcome to Riften. You better clear as long out. As you continue to obey our and <laughs> what I actually fine though? My lady, Maven Blackbriar has sent word that she requires. Is that the skeleton? That's the skeleton. Well, but of course. that was easy. I would really like those necklaces too, but that's okay. Uh, she got anything else? For a handout, you'll want to start a company. If you're looking for a husband, I suppose you could do worse. Uh, sir? 
We're trying to sneak around. What is it? The guards won't just let you walk in. Except they literally did. Anuriel. Okay, do you not recognize this? Not here. Come with me. Not here. Alright then. Uh, excuse me, your steward needs to leave. Catelyn Stark. <laughs> yes. I suppose you're here to extort something from me? Is that it? Yes. You rebels well, are doing a fine job destroying yourselves. You Soldiers running errands. So, you're an Imperial spy. Interesting. I have no strong love for the Stormcloaks, but I can't say I'm all that fond of the Empire either. This war of yours makes it difficult for a resourceful woman to advance her interests. Uh-huh, it does. Perhaps we can find a way for both of us to prosper from this unfortunate discovery? Oh, maybe so. Uh, what kind of agreement did you have in mind? What if I told you about a large shipment of gold and weapons? Uh, go on, I'm listening. Oh no, I'm no fool. You'll learn what you need to know once we've come to an agreement. Uh, and what about something from me, for me, right now? Oh, what, what does that imply? Well, I... I suppose I'm not left much choice in the matter, am I? Very well. Oh, we're, we're blackmailing her for even more money. Okay, thank you. 1,500 septums, that's nice. Okay, how much are we talking about? Enough to make a significant difference in the war. Okay. I, I assume we're taking this for the Imperials then. They're Fine. They're taking it by wagon to Windhelm. If you hurry, you'll catch them before they get far. It'll be a fairly slow-moving caravan. The shipment is quite heavy and guarded by many men. All right, easy. Now, let's pretend we never had this discussion. Thank you. Oh, I wanted the... You're welcome in Riften. As long as you continue to obey our laws. Thank you, madam. Right, good work. That's so buggy. <laughs> well, we found out about a magic cart full of weapons and armor that will sway the war. It's going to be iron swords, you know it is. And we managed to make 1,500 gold in the process. That's fantastic. So next time I need to bribe someone. I should just never bribe anyone again. Apparently our speech is a high enough level now where we really don't have to worry about that type of thing. We're back to Legget Ricker. She was all the way down here. We could just go in. She did say you'll have to move fast. But I suppose, you know, that can wait. Ricker, we've heard about this cart that I was told to move fast and go and get if we wanted to get it. Otherwise, we never see it again. So I thought I'd come back and report to you rather than, you know, doing exactly that. Hello. Something to report? The Norio says it's a shipment of coin traveling to Windhelm. Excellent work. I knew you'd bring back something useful. Thank you. It just so happens I've got some scouts along the road. Oh. Meet up with them and together see if you can't overpower the caravan. Okay, thank you, Legget Ricker. <laughs> thank you. Have you got any more money for me? Oh, there we go. Meet the men. Oh. Uh, where is this? They were like, where though? Traveling towards Windhelm? Oh, there it is. Meet the men. Well, let's go to... um. Tolvald's cave. I, I, again, I feel like I, it's a shame there is no option to say I'll do it myself, you know. But I get it, you know, it's supposed to be a war. Simultaneously, Skyrim didn't have the processing power available to it to make it a proper war. Nor would I say Bethesda had the um <laughs> the game engine. More than 12 people on the screen at once and everything starts freaking out. Ah, get out the fucking way, Skell. I'm not sure I like Scale. I might just put him in my companion gallery. Where the fuck is it trying to send us? Todd Howard it. Incredible play. Okay. Ah, here they are. 360. Hello, Hadvar. Well, well, look who it is. How have you been? Why are you whispering? They're quite clearly not here. Uh, I'm all right. How are you? Good to hear. I need this to go well. This is my first real command. You didn't since actually they answer my question. White Run. You know, some nights when I close my eyes, I see the battle stretched out before me. Like I'm still there. Do the men you've killed haunt you? Mine do. Hanvar, we're not qualified to deal with your your PTSD. <laughs> Only a beast kills without feeling. I suppose you're right. They say it gets easier. I'm not sure if that's a good thing. 
But never mind all that. What brings you out this way? Well, there's an enemy wagon, wagon loaded with coin and weapons. We need really? to capture it. It just so happens we've been tracking a wagon for about a day. Are we outranking Hadfar? So that's what's in there. We're Coins prefect, right? How do you know that? Uh, I blackmail someone for a It doesn't matter. Oh, fine. Keep your secrets. I see how it is. That wagon recently had a little accident. What's wrong with his They're mouth? Stranded now. Just up the road. Oh, it's We're freaking me out. But I have a plan. It's got really you flappy got lips. In time. Mm. What's the plan? First, we're going to take out the sentry. Then we'll situate ourselves. I mean, I could just walk in and camp. shout the wagon over. Next, you'll infiltrate the position and get their attention, while we hit them with a barrage of arrows. With a bit of luck, we'll catch. Where's them your accent from, Hanvar? You travel a lot in your youth. What's going on with that? Okay, you wait here. I'll take care of it. All right, if you insist. But we'll come running if it sounds like things have gotten out Well, I was complaining that we weren't allowed to just blunder in and kill them all. Turns out you can just blunder in and kill them all. Okay, here we go. Take over the caravan. Hi. <laughs> Standing around and then their friend's head comes rolling right into camp. Hello. Re. Hazo. Re. Hazo. Oh, why did they die like that? Those are the fearsome storm cloaks. Oh, <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, oh, he also summons. Oh, it's his storm astronach. I see a storm astronach we killed earlier. There might have just been his. Have been seen in Skyrim. That's a tall order, but I figure we can kill them. <laughs> right, moving on. Here we are, the wagon. Uh, enough to change the war? It's three fucking boxes. All right, Adva, it's over. We made quite a team, eh? You did nothing. I'll stay here and guard the shipment. You get back to camp with the news. Thanks. We'll have them send some men with a new wagon. This one isn't going anywhere. What's wrong with this one? Oh, but besides the fact that it's completely disappeared from space and time, so it isn't going anywhere. Snaps his fingers and it just fucking climbs out of existence. Oh, it's a fair point. I guess it isn't going anywhere. It's going quite literally nowhere all at once, always. We also leveled up. Okay, well, let's see what we've got then. The Paladin Galabor is still waiting for you. Yeah, at some point, sure. Uh, let's go for some health then. Why not? Um, I want to go into... We can start saving perks. Oh, we've got 11 perks. Okay, let's not save any more fucking perks. Uh, what have we got? Killing opponent with one-handed weapon replenishes 100 points of stamina. Oh, that's crazy. Disarming slash. One-handed summons power attacks have a 25% chance to disarm targets. That's crazy powerful. Okay. Power attacks with a sword. Don't really need that. Power attacks with a mace we've already got. Uh, Really is it, huh? Dual wielding attacks. We could go dual wielding because that would level up one-handed faster. Although I don't think it would because I think it's done by the amount of damage that you inflict and you'd inflict the same amount of damage per enemy. So could be irrelevant. We could always just save it and just like dump it all in archery right away. Light armor too. Sneaking. Like, there's a lot of skills that we're gonna that are gonna become very important very fast that are useless right now. So I think it's better just to save it. Ricker. Good work. I'll send some men with a wagon to collect the prize. We can use the weapons here and I'll pass on the coin to Solitude. Excellent. Uh, report for duty. Your objective is Fort Greenwald. Fort Greenwald. Meet the soldiers preparing for the attack. Then join them in wiping out the rebels. Once you prevail, we will garrison the fort. I'm not a rebel. Well, soldier, are you up Wait. to the task? Yes, all right. Don't take too long. Oh, no, I meant... Out. Why would the top option the not be, I'm ready for well, war? Soldier, are you up Go. I knew I could count on you, soldier. So you can as well. You can interact with these maps and put them on as map markers. If you press E, it'll mark it Something on the... Report? There you go. It'll mark the things on the map that we have yet to find. So we might as well just quickly... Quickly get all those added on. Just for future reference. There we go. I don't know why there's not just a... Maybe maybe when you click on one, it adds the lot. I'm not sure. Because it seems a bit silly that you'd have to... <laughs> add them all individually like this. Eh? But I'm like, there we go. Right. Okay. So over to Fort Greenwall. And that's going to give us the Rift. Now, does this replace the Rift's Yarl? I honestly don't remember. I don't think it does, right? Fort Greenwall. There it is. Join the men attacking Fort Greenwall. Remember, all we have to do, walk up to the men. That will trigger it, and then we can walk in and wipe out the whole fort. 
And then hopefully in that point, we'll get some more one-handed experience. Here we go. Oh, how lovely. Uh, men? Alright. Charge. <laughs> I suppose that just forces these strongholds to spawn in, right? Because otherwise it's full of bandits. Keep your damn magic to yourself. Keep your damn magic to yourself. Bonk. Do they have an Eldritch page? I saw that. Yes. Bonk. Join us. Strong cloaks, more like turn cloaks. <laughs> turn turn coats. I'm not sure. So I'm not sure it really matters. Hey, another Eldritch page. This is great for Hamas Mora. Reveling in all this all this knowledge. Well, these guys are fighting each other. I'm not sure why. Oh, was that my was that my guy that I accidentally just club then. Well, to be fair, we weren't able to check him for knowledge, so I think that's a... I think that's a ah! What the hell? I kind of feel sorry for the Storm Cloaks. Got old Martinius coming in like this. Big old hammer with a goat's head on it and a skeleton following around. Send Ulfric my regards. That's quite funny. Send Ulfric my regards. Uh, you're killing them, just so you know. Don't know, if you're, don't know if you're quite aware of this. Oh, they're all fighting each other again. What the fuck's going on? Oh, that guy had a page on him. I wasn't able to loot him fast enough before these bodies despawned. Okay, how are we looking? How is this better than the Battle of Whiterun? Sincerely. So ridiculous. Nice. 20% remaining. We haven't gotten any one-handed experience, which is kind of... Kind of, kind of disappointing. What the fuck is going on over here? Sweet Jesus. Hadvar! Hadvar, you're here! Friend! You think I can aim this? Hey! Wait, Dragon Soul Absorb? The fuck? <laughs> it was a dragon? Maybe one of the, maybe that storm we just killed was Dragonborn. Oh, shit. Plot twist, eh? Another Dragonborn, and we just absolutely annihilated him. That'll teach you to cross me. We've done it. We got a lot of Eldritch pages out of that. You all right? Spreading your wrist a little bit there? We've done it, team. Good shit. We got an illusion level there, too. Wow, we are getting a lot of levels now that we've uh, kind of diversified our portfolio a little bit. Right here. Here. You don't always have to reinvent the mousetrap. Sometimes you just build a better wheel. <laughs> Feel like it is as a cursory laugh because, you know, someone did actually bother. Hadvar! Prefect, who do you think killed more rebels? You or me? God, he's really struggling with that, isn't he? God, that's kind of a tragic story. It's good that they added something like that I, in some way. Fort Hamel, Shrill Stone, Drenman's Nook, Fort Castoff. Wow, there were a lot of forts that we didn't have before. Thank God we went through that map. And then we go back to Yenaratalius uh, for another promotion, I assume. I promote you to general. Take my clothes. And just stands there naked in the corner drinking wine all day. Wow. It's quite... Soul Terror is just so good, isn't it? Definitely the coolest of the shouts. Do a big scream and rip a man's soul out. That's quite powerful. We should do that to, uh... Oh my god, if we could summon... <laughs> if we could summon, uh, Ulfric with Soul Tear, that would be so incredibly high tier. Keep around as a permanent companion. That'd be so good. Tolius. Taking control of the rift was a great victory. Ulfric must be rather nervous with us so close to his doorstep. I'm gonna take him as come a long my way. companion. I don't think we could do without you. I'm hereby raising you to Tribune. Tribune? Congratulations. I don't know what that Here, is on the grand... Take this gift as a sign of the Empire's appreciation. Tribune? And my own. I don't know why that puts us on the, the steel shield. Thank you. What are my orders, General Tellis? You're needed in Winterhold. Report to our hidden camp there. Regain Winterhold hold. Yes, sir. For the Empire. For the Empire. Winterhold hold. Come along, Skell. You might go back in the gallery, my friend, because you are... <laughs> already getting right on my nerves. <laughs> We're not getting anything for the museum. So we might as well put something in there. And by something, I mean Skell. Skell the Grey or whatever the hell his name is. How are we doing with one-handed then? 94. I feel like we haven't gained any levels in that. Am I going mad? 
I feel like we, that hasn't changed at all today. Go from 92 to 94, or was it? Hmm. God, I hope this mace actually counts as one-handed experience. Otherwise, that would be a bit, a bit shit, wouldn't it? The custom weapon that doesn't give any experience. That would be uh, a bit of a pain in the ass. I would double check and see where we were at the start of the episode. But I swear we haven't leveled it up. Oh, well. Doesn't really matter either way. Let's go drop Skell off in the uh, in the Dragonborn Gallery. You know what? Why don't we just teleport in? What am I doing here? Uh, do I have my compass? Wait. Ah, that's why we don't teleport in. Seems I've misplaced my... Extremely valuable Dwemer Compass of Instant Teleportation. And there's me wondering how these artifacts get lost up without anybody finding them for so long. Turns out everybody's just as careless as I am. That's a replica right in there. Oh, shit. Orion. I may have lost one of the most valuable artifacts we've got. Damn it. Okay, everybody. Meet Skell. Skell, this is Lucian. You two will get on famously. An ego you'll probably get on with as well. An ego's kind of random, but he's also drug addled, so it makes a bit more sense. Here you are. Hmm? Your new home. Uh Right, so let's say wait here for a moment. Suddenly, I'll stand and watch for guards. Excellent. And then it should say, Scale will wait here for you forever. Good. And now he should make himself comfortable. Unlike Knight Paladin Gallibor, who just quite literally I assume because he didn't have actually a sitting animation. I feel like it would just be the default elf sit but you know there's lucian there's uh gregor gregor's in the bath good work gregor seems someone's robbed our vault we'll have to have a word with some people about that there's everyone else i feel like we've absolutely stacked this place full of people but everyone seems to have fucking disappeared lucian oh mjol there's mjol uh and Ilya. She's fucking gone. Maybe she's left again. I wouldn't blame her at this point. Uh, Ilya? No, she's like straight up not here. Oh! That's Valdemar. I await your command, Fane. Yes, you do. <laughs> you will be waiting a long, long time. Well, Ilya's fucking gone, apparently. But, uh, everyone else is here. Except for Serana, too. Don't know why she's gone. Did you, did you kill her, Gallable? Did you kill her? Well, thank you for watching. Let's wrap this up here for today. What a, what a weird episode. Weird episode. I'm going to get this man some boots that fit because that's really annoying me. And uh, we'll continue on tomorrow, reclaiming the reach. And I will level us up to 99 one handed in between episodes, I think. Because, you know, I want to move on to archery and the Thieves Go and the Dark Brotherhood and whatnot. And at the rate we're going, it's never going to happen. 